Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to share with you my updated coffee bar. It was a little bit sad for me to take the last one down. If you missed that, I will link it down in the description box below. I had a whole vintage spring market theme for the last one and I have to say it was probably one of my favorites. Uh, I have enjoyed decorating this coffee bar for every single different holiday and season and now it is time to update from spring to summer. So I know lemons are really, really popular right now, and I really wanted to give this more of a homey feel versus sort of a lemonade stand feel, which I really actually like the idea of and considered that even. However, I wanted something more cozy and just more have the accents of the lemons, not necessarily be a whole lemon theme. So a few of the items that you'll see behind me, I actually picked up at Hobby Lobby's 75% off clearance event, so that was really, really nice. I found some great items to use here. I also found a few new items, but I also shopped my home and my stash to find a lot of the items. Of course, I always display my Ray Dunn collection here as well, so I will walk you through every single detail of where I purchased or found or if I created an item, because I do have some DIYs that I display in this uh, coffee bar behind me. I will give you all of that information today in this tour, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's an overall look at the coffee bar. The coffee bar also sits next to our kitchen entryway, so always make sure to dress that area up just a little bit too, and I'll share that with you a little bit later in this tour. I also have videos on how we created the coffee bar. The background is a chalk painted wall. I also have a tutorial on the floating shelves and then I always get questions about the cabinet that sits in front of the coffee bar and that is from Ikea and the baskets are as well. This cute little rug is a Dollar Tree DIY and I will link that tutorial in the description box below. Let's start with the main shelf of this coffee bar, which sits on top of the cabinet. And this holds all of our coffee making supplies. So of course our coffee maker, this cute little sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then I also have a small pitcher and a cute little ramkin full of lemon drops. The paper straws are from the Dollar Tree. And then moving on to the other side of this cabinet, I have a tin pie tray that is from Hobby Lobby, and it holds our Ray Dunn lemon juicer, also some sugar and cinnamon for our coffee, and then a plant from Ikea, and all of the lemons that you'll see on the coffee bar are from Walmart. They had a big set of those this spring in their decor, so that's where all of the lemons are from. You all know I really enjoy the chalkboard wall on this coffee bar, so I added some simple art to it to dress it up. The other thing is a vintage tablecloth that I thrifted, and it reminds me of a picnic, and I just really love this little touch of vintage and summer all at the same time to sort of ground the coffee bar. And now we're gonna move up to the next shelf, the first floating shelf. And there is a little bit of DIY on this uh, shelf as well as part of my Ray Dunn mug collection. I also get lots and lots of questions about this hanging rail right here, which is from Ikea. And it has five hooks on it to hold five of my coffee mugs. And then I have some greenery and some lemons underneath the fill to fill up that space. Now moving down to the other side of the shelf, I have my Ray Dunn pitcher here, which I have turned around because I like the handle sticking out this way. And then inside I have some fiddle fig leaves that really complement the rest of the greenery on the coffee bar. This wood sign is actually a Dollar Tree DIY and I'll link that video down below. It is sitting on top of some Dollar Tree DIY distressed books. 
And then I have a cute little candle from Marshalls next to some canisters that were from the Hobby Lobby Spring Sale. So I got these 50% off. I think one was $5 and the other one was $4. Now moving on to the top floating shelf, you'll see I have lights above here, and those are from Home Depot in their outdoor section, but I turned them off so you could see the decor a little bit better. And on each side of the shelf, I have these cute little lemon topiaries. I got those at Walmart for about $5. They were half off at the time. I also have my milk glass collection. And then in the middle there, those two pieces are from the Hobby Lobby 75% off sale. There is a metal tile that I got for, I believe, about $12. It's pretty good sized. And I have that layered with a Hobby Lobby wood sign that has the cute lemons on it. And that was only $4.49. So I feel like I got a really great deal on both of those pieces. And now we can move over to the entryway area. I didn't do a whole lot over here. I wanted it to stay kind of simple and airy and summery. And usually this area is filled with backpacks during the school year and coats during the winter. So it's kind of nice that it's just refreshed and airy right now. This bench is a trash to treasure that I found on the side of the road and refinished and this pillow that I just fell in love with, it was so perfect, is from Marshalls, and I believe it was $14.99. So a good deal on a really pretty pillow that has embroidery on it. I also get lots of questions about this hook board. It is from Kirkland's, and I have a little basket hanging from it with some leaves and some yellow tulips that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then hanging up on the bore on the hook board is a boxwood style wreath that is from Hobby Lobby. Thank you all so much for joining me for my updated coffee bar tour. I think it's really gonna be perfect for the upcoming summer season. Let me know how you are decorating your home this summer for your living room or kitchen, or do you have a theme? Do you like the lemon theme? Do you use watermelons? Or do you keep it pretty simple and airy uh, with the neutral farmhouse theme? I would love to know. Let me know down in the comments below. Please take a second and give this video a thumbs up for me. And I hope you'll also hit the subscribe button so you can stick around and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. And while you're at it, hit that bell so you get notified when my videos go live. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much again. Bye everyone.